Candias, he might just break for the four. He tries to play in Arfield, Arfield very determined! Scott Arfield on target. That was all about absolute determination. It wasn't the best of layoff from Jermaine Defoe, but Scott Arfield was so determined to make it his. He fires it high into the net. As Rangers go, we've got route one here. Goldson, Candias, Defoe, Arfield on the move. And when it comes into his path, his only one objective, beat the goalkeeper and he does it with distinction. It's nine for the season for Scott Arfield. It's Motherwell nil, Rangers one. Fantastic, fantastic build-up play. Good touch from Dan Daniel Kandias. Links up with Jermaine Defoe. And you can see the movement between Defoe and Arfield there. A crossover run, creates the space. A bit fortunate, comes off the Murrow defender. But that's sheer determination by Scott Arfield to get on the end of it. And a fantastic finish over the goalkeeper into the top corner. Bocanegra. It's an interesting ball. Jelovic on the volley! Superb! He's only been on the park for a matter of seconds. Nikita Jelovic delivers for his manager. And Rangers look very comfortable now. Well, don't you look like a genius when you send on a sub when he, he scores with his first touch. But what? Between Zoyukas here and, and, and Murray and Keller, they're both looking at each other. He's onside because Webster's slightly deeper. Zoyukas wants Keller to come for it. I'm not sure he can. That being said, forget the negatives. That is an absolutely wonderful finish and technique as it drops over his shoulder. Never, ever takes his eye off the ball. And I can't tell you how difficult that is. Just to have the awareness of where you are, what's around about you, and where the goal is, whilst watching the ball and executing that. Boyd. Miller. Kenny Miller still there. today, plenty of pace and movement, he gets him to the byline, he gets his head up there as well, and it's a great finish, Davis gets himself right in there, prime position, in off the right hand side, exactly what any right midfield player should be doing, sneaks inside there. Thompson, Darsville, Thompson wants it back, he's got it back, he's done it, Kevin Thompson, who has a habit of scoring against Celtic in his career, strikes first for Rangers on Derby Day in Glasgow. That's quite simply a sublime goal, and he's been the best so far in this match, Thompson, just look at the way he's got the power to get himself through that Celtic defence. A great little one-two, Darshville takes a touch, times it well, feeds him back in. Just look at his first touch from Darshville, holds it now. And at this point, his favourite, Thompson. Lovely finish through the legs of the oncoming Boric. He's left completely unprotected, but what a finish. And what a first half from Kevin Thompson. Here's Wallace again, gets the break of the ball. Vucic, Vucic, Vucic for Wallace, wants it back for Vucic. Wow! 3-1 Rangers. Harris Vucic puts daylight between Rangers and Cowdenbeath. Harris Vucic's fourth Rangers goal worked it so well between he and Lee Wallace and that right foot that I've been critical of on occasion. Passes the ball behind Robbie Thompson. 
It's Rangers three, Cowdenbeath one. Well, again, it's Lee Wallace heavily involved and definitely the man of the match without a shadow of a doubt once again. Great stuff there, a little one-two. Vucic could have hit that, he doesn't. He gets a one-two from Wallace and we so-called Dickie right foot sticks the ball in the back there. That's great play by the two lads. Good work in there, the ball in the back there. That seals the three points now. Relief all round. Absolutely, 3-1 Rangers. I'm sure Celtic will be going into a bit of a roasting from Liam Brady, so I'm sure that he won't be happy with the way, with it, with the man advantage, they haven't got a goal. Well, Celtic letting McCall get away. McCoy! He scored! Right on the 45 minutes! Against all the odds! No wonder scenes of experience extravagant celebration, the first is almost in tears of joy and disbelief. The ten men have taken the lead at Hampden Park. A lovely ball by Stuart McCall, just nicely weighted, Ali takes it first time. He just gets a hand to it, Gordon Marshall, very unlucky not to see that past the post. Good cool play by Stuart, goes to shoot, squares a lovely pass, just adjusted his feet and a lovely finish inside the post. Just when I said that Rangers were content to sit out the first half, they couldn't score. Gary Stevens. That's Stuart Munro. Brown has gone forward. That's a good cross. Up goes Johnston. Corner not too decisive with the clearance. Here's Walters. Testing and teasing there, but in defence! 1 0 to Rangers! The keeper had no chance this time as Mark Walters opened the scoring. 14 minutes of the match left for play. A fine cross from John Brown came up fully away from Conan and from McLeish. But just look at the way Walters turns here, makes space for himself for the shot away from Connor and rifles the ball beyond Michael Watt to the far corner. Picking out Van Bossen's run. Back now with Laudra. Headed away from Alberts by McNamara. Clellan back to McCall. That's O'Neill. Well, the problem really for Celtic, but to get the ball out of the area for long enough to get some respite and put some pressure on Rangers. Here's Alberts. Van Bossen coming into the left, which he does so well. Alberts. Splendid save by Marshall. It's good play just on the edge of the box by Rangers. Bit of interplay there. A little break there, but Alberts doesn't half hit this one in. Once again, God Marshall there. It's gone for the header. A towering header from Richard Goff, and Rangers take the lead. The pressure was mounting all the time. Came from the corner kick, and Alberts with the outswinger. Goff coming in here, got such good elevation, Hughes couldn't get him, and the header goes beyond God Marshall. Once again, it's a tremendous left-footed cross at the box by Albert. It, the astonishing thing for me is, we all know God, Richard Goff's ability in there, meets this one perfectly. The surprising thing is that he's given so much room to the Celtic defence. Well, Richard Goff's second goal of the season, puts Rangers ahead. Ferguson is there, back to his goalkeeper. Gilman. Conterman. Now look out. Here's Newman. Oh, that's a great goal by Newman. A tremendous strike. Just looked up and let fly. Well, I 
said they were looking for some inspiration, badly needing it. And the Dutch international, with great experience that he has, with that tremendous left foot of his, brings Rangers level. Well, I must say, one of the best goals I've seen in quite some time, cleanly hit. And now Rangers are making it a contest.